Hello everyone, I am here today to discuss with you BEA, Book Expo America. I spent my Thursday, Friday, Saturday in New York City for Book Expo. In case you guys don't know what BEA is, it is a book convention where you get to meet the authors and you get to talk and connect with people who have just such a love of books, the same as you do. You also get ARCs for books that haven't come out yet. That's definitely one of the pluses. And it was great and so many wonderful things to share with you. But first, I just want to give a shout out to everyone that I met that made the whole experience so freaking awesome. For the people you will not see in the following clip, I just want to say thank you to both Olivia and Claire for being my friends while I was there. I went all alone and I had no one and they befriended me on the first day and I felt like I've known you guys for forever. And also I want to thank Tori and her team, Karen and Kevin. You guys were awesome. You guys kind of just took me under your wing and it was so great being with people who knew what they were actually doing um, because I was so overwhelmed. So thank you guys so much. Now let's roll the clip for the fabulous people that I met. wonderful authors from Holly Black and Cassandra Clare and Sarah J Moss and Alexandra Bracken and Libba Bray. They were just all so freaking nice and just lovely and so willing to talk to you and kind of make that personal connection. So that was great. I was fortunate enough to be able to throw in the extra couple dollars for an avid reader's pass so I was able to select my tickets ahead of time. If you didn't, you'd have to wake up at like super early in the morning in order to wait in line to get there. Now for the clip of the authors I've met. author interaction was Libba Bray. She's just so funny and witty in case you couldn't tell by her books like Beauty Queens and Going Bovine. So I'm gonna show you guys a little condensed clip of what actually happened. I went up there and I was kind of really nervous but she really put me at ease and I just I love her so much. <laughs> Of shenanigans ensued. BEA is just such a place where the whole weekend just goes by so fast and you're so involved and you're doing so many things and running around but it's just so much fun that definitely shenanigans ensued and so here are just some clips and pictures of everything that went down.
Saturday. It was actually called BookCon and it was open to the public and this was the first time I did it so there was definitely a few kinks that I think they probably need to work out for next year but it was just still so much fun and that's when I got to meet the booktubers. Even though it was super crowded and me and crowds just don't, don't really get along, I still had such a blast once I got past all the crowd things and I started hanging out with other booktubers. The last event though at BookCon was a panel of John Green and the producers of the movie Fault in Our Stars. I waited in line with Olivia for over an hour for the showing, but it paid off because we had a special guest. After that all. The booktubers, we went to the Strand, and we were in a natural environment in a bookstore in New York City. The Strand is such a great place. It's just very unique, and it was so great meeting everyone there. Again, thank you to everyone who just made my experience so much fun, and I can't wait until next year. For those of you who are wondering exactly what I got at BEA, I'm not going to do a haul. What I'm going to do instead is down below in the About section, I'm going to have a link to the Goodreads bookshelf that I created that lists all of the books, or all of the new books that I got at BEA. So that is it for today. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to me. You can also follow me on Twitter, Goodreads, and Tumblr. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it because I really, really enjoyed BEA and I can't wait until next year. So until later, bye! So excited. Also, I did pick up some things, so there will be giveaways. I just need to figure out all the kinks and how to do that because I haven't done a giveaway before. But I got some merchandise for ya, and so stay tuned because there will be a giveaway sometime in the future.